Hi everyone and welcome to our first tutorial on Tinkercad. Tinkercad is a free program in which you can do a number of things including building electric circuits. We're going to learn how to do that in our first tutorial. So first thing, let's take a look at a very simple electric circuit. One like this here. This electric circuit has a power source or a DC battery. The DC battery has a positive electrode and a negative electrode. It has wires. Typically, they're copper that we'll use in class. And it has a single resistor. There's many different examples of resistors, but one that you know of is a light bulb. Uh, simple old school light bulb is one type of resistor. What happens when this circuit is built is electricity will flow from the battery through the light bulb and back into the battery. This is what we call a complete circuit. If there's any break in the circuit anywhere then electricity will not be able to flow and it's what we call an open circuit. Whenever we're building a circuit, we want to make sure it's a closed circuit. And like I said, that way electricity can flow through the copper wires from the battery to the light bulb and back to the battery. So we are going to start by going in to Tinkercad. So let's take a look. If you do a Google search and you're doing this at home or at school, you can search for Tinkercad and you're going to see it come up with this here. It says creating 3D digital designs with online CAD. That's one thing it does, but it also builds electric circuits, which is down here. So we are going to click on this here and you're going to create an account. And when you do and you log into the account, it starts with this page here. And as you can see, I've already logged in and it has 3D designs, which it defaults to, but we don't want to do 3D designs. We want to do circuits. So we're going to click on circuits. And what it does is it loads up any previous circuits that you've built in case you want to go and work with any of the ones that you already have built or you can create a new circuit. So we're going to do that. So when you click on that, it creates what we call a palette and a palette is this white window here. And on the right hand side, there are components that we can use to build a simple circuit. So what we're going to do is build the one that we looked at the simple circuit with a DC battery and a light bulb. Now to do that we're going to use something called a breadboard. A breadboard is a simple plastic and metal um, device that we can build electric circuits really quickly. And it looks like this here. I'm going to go over to the right and I'm going to click on breadboard small and I'm going to bring it in here. So this is what it looks like. It's a small breadboard and the way it works is this top part's plastic but underneath there's actually metal that connects some of these holes together. So for instance this row here, row 30 on this side here, you're going to see one, two, three, four, five holes. And those holes are actually electrically connected together. There's a piece of metal in behind there that connects all of those five holes together. If I go over to row 17, same thing, one, two, three, four, five, all of those holes are electrically connected. But they're not all connected to each other. So in other words, this one here is not electrically connected to this one. Or this one here in the second row is not electrically connected to this one or this one or over on this side. So that's the way it is made. We have 
power rails and the power rails are represented by a red line with a plus sign that is where the positive side of your battery is going to connect to and it has a black line here or a negative power rail which the negative terminal of the battery is going to connect to so it's a quick introduction to Tinkercad once you have watched this video I want you to create an account and just make sure you can bring in a, a breadboard and work with it we want to save this it defaults to some name here usually creates a crazy name but you can call this simple breadboard and when you open up your Tinkercad again you're gonna see this example here you can go back in and edit this one here that's it for this tutorial take care and we'll talk to you soon.